It's time now for the Perry Child 11 o'clock news in this. Starting at June 13th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. I got 11 o'clock news and lines here. Our top story at 11 o'clock here in this Saturday night is the suspect in attack on Dallas Police Headquarters had a record of domestic violence and a history of custody issues. But a 40 days had found nothing in this fashion in KT with Charlie Police Chief David Brown said on Saturday. A man in a wedding reception at the Waldorf Astoria in New York on Saturday actually discharged a firearm, leaving five people with minor injuries, the police said. President Obama has been hitting the phones all weekend to show up a second time of the vote on the bill next Tuesday. The full house star, John Samus, who played Uncle Jesse on a hit TV sitcom, was put over by police in Beverly Hills on Friday after he noticed he was driving erratically. In Beirut, the Kurdish Syrian forces is advancing towards one of the Islamic State's most strategically vital possessions. Captured territory in the group's landmarked province of Raqqa and threatened it to inflict what could be a most significant feat yet. Washington. The Pentagon is poised to store battle tanks, infantry, fighting vehicles, and other heavy weapons for as many as 5,000 troops in several Baltic and Eastern European countries to deter any possible further Russian aggression in Europe. Transburg and African Union summit meeting meant to discuss development issues were being overshadowed by the possible. Participation of Sudan's president, who would risk arrest on international criminal charges if he enters host nation South of Africa. Kabul, Afghanistan. Afghanistan police took force took another severe blow from the Taliban on Saturday as 17 police officers were killed in a clash with insurgents on the seven province of Helmand, officials said. When she walks down the aisle in the chapel rail that has leverage, Congress tomorrow, tomorrow, Sofia. Help us study will be taking in final steps toward the new life of Sweden's newest princess. In New York, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton promised on Saturday to fight for a fair society for an ordinary American state on a place that leave to cut off any button charge for the Democratic nomination. The prison worker and upstate New York charged with aiding and escape of two convicted kills from a maximum security correctional facility planning to meet the pair at midnight in the night that escape of and then leave an escape as the district attorney said. In Athens, Savannah, why Greece's suspension system is signed negotiates up in no not look no further than Maria Connor fit in our mother to a single parent and early retirees. Great pension tingle shows no easy way out. The damage that farmers and ranchers face from the disastrous Red River flooded in northwest and central Louisiana might not be known for much during long the time talk. Researchers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has issued a new guidelines to provide federal protection to captive chimpanzees, meaning that they no longer will be available for research. Hospital in Slovakia is testing a South Korean man for a potentially deadly Middle East respiratory syndrome. If confirmed, it will be the first case in Europe since an outbreak in South Korea began. Authorities have issued warnings about high risk of bubonic plague in Florida waters. The virus has already led to seven cases of illnesses this year. Peter Channel News, I'm a level 3. Time out for the Trevor Report here. And Mass Pike in the eastbound side, it's slow from 495 Westbrook to Natick. 95 in the northbound side, it is slow from Norwood all the way out to Route 128 in Canton. But it moves down from there. As Intersection of 495 and the Mass Pike in Westbrook. And you change a little slow. Now three minutes that man set up in hooks in the after a little slow. We got an accident on a route 95 to the ramp from 101 and half direct to respect some delays right at that area. But I was a smooth selling commute here on this late Saturday night here. And Take a look at the MBTA alerts here. Fairies are looking good. 
subway system it's looking good and coming rails looking good Peter Challenger some 11.05 here on this late Saturday night here and it is time to have a weather report here on this Saturday night We have a temperature of 66 degrees. My first guy is Cuba today, 68%. Wind speed is calm. Farm rate of 298 inches. Stoop about 55 degrees and visibly at 10 miles an hour. Air. All right, let's take a look at that. Current conditions are in the region here. 72 degrees here in Boston. It's 68 in Bedford, 65 in Beverly, 70 in Gloucester, 69 in Fitchburg, 67 in Worcester, 66 in Surbridge. 70 in Milford, 62 in Norwood, 66 in Taunton, 67 in Bedford, 64 in Plymouth and in Falmouth, 63 in Chinaman and Prof. Sand, 65 in Cape Cod Bay, 59 in Mumford's Vineyard, 39 in Nantucket, 64 in Lock on and in Smithfield, 65 in Wesley, 71 in New York City, 69 in Nineslip, 66 in Montauk, 71 in Bridgeport, 72 in New Haven, 66 in Denbury, 66 in Waterbury, 71 in Meriden, 73 in Hartford, 72 in Woodstock, 65 in Springfield, 70 out in Greenfield, 62 in Airfall, 63 in Northam, 61 in Pittsfield, 61 in Albany, New York, 65 in Minnesota Springs, 63 in Vermont, 64 in Brewer, 60 in Brewer, 64 in Banton, Vermont, 61 in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 63 in Kenan, New Hampshire, 61 in Jaffa, New Hampshire, 61 in Lock Corner, and Concord, and Manchester, New Hampshire, 69 in National, New Hampshire, 73 in Portland, New Hampshire, and 69 up in Portland, Maine. Here. All right, take a look at the service map around the country here, and it shows safety front from Eastern California. Yes. Northeastern California stretching it up to the Manor region and in for Wyoming, merge with a court front from the Dakotas, up in the eastern Manitoba, merge with a warm front, front from through northern Ontario here, and another warm front from eastern Nebraska stretching to northern Iowa, through Iowa, down from northern Illinois. Merge with a staging front from the Great Lakes, down from Pennsylvania, and a cold front stretching from southern New Jersey out to sea here, and for the from southern British coming down to southern Alberta, for the from west central Montana, and now for western portion of Wyoming, low pressure. With a front of mine from eastern Colorado, down from eastern Mexico, and a front of mine from western Texas, and for Oklahoma. Front of mine from west central Texas, and from Mexico, and a front of mine from southwestern Arizona, and for the Gulf of California, and a front of mine from the eastern tip of Mexico to the central Gulf of Mexico, and a front of mine with low pressure from east of San Francisco, down to west of Los Angeles. There, with low pressure in western Arizona, western Texas, central Wyoming, and central South Dakota, while got high pressure in east central portions of Washington State, northeastern Montana. It Ontario, Southern Colorado, East Central Tennessee, and Eastern Gulf Coast of Florida, and off the Carolinas here. 65 degrees at temperature banana in Detroit, a full line through Quebec, with a low pressure off Quebec, and switch to the west, northwestern tip of Newfoundland there. 70 degrees at Pittsburgh, A7 in Washington, D.C., A3 in Atlanta, A3 in Miami, Florida, A4 in Brunswick, Texas, and Dallas, Texas, 76 in Kansas City. 74 in Omaha, Nebraska, 72 in Chicago, 68 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 72 in Great Falls, Montana, 74 in Seattle, 70 in San Francisco, 65 in Los Angeles, 102 in Las Vegas, 103 in, in Phoenix, 70 in Albuquerque, 87 in Salt Lake City, and 63 degrees out in Denver, Colorado. Here. All right, let's take a look at Satellite Loop here. And it shows. Nothing on the New England map. Spotty rain showers in east central Quebec, around the central portions of Nova Scotia, and a lot of rain showers diligent in east central portions of Newfoundland. And seeing some spotty showers and storms from north central Ontario, stretching into northern and western Michigan, and then for southern Wisconsin, and then northern and western portion of Illinois, through Illinois, and then for eastern Iowa. And some spotty showers and storms from western Ohio, and then for southern and northeastern portions of Indiana. And a lot of rain showers in west central Pennsylvania, and then for west central portions of Maryland there. And some spotty rain showers here, and if storms from east central portions of Oklahoma and from western Arkansas down for west central Kentucky and Tennessee, and north central Mississippi down for east central portions of Alabama, and a line of rain showers and storms off the Louisiana Gulf Coast, and spotty rain showers on southeastern Texas Gulf Coast, and a line of heavy showers and storms in western Texas Panhandle there, and some spotty rain showers in eastern Utah and northeastern Arizona, and spotty Rain showers and storms from southeast Wyoming and for Central Colorado and down from New Mexico here. And some spotty rain showers from Nevada and east central portions of California. And a lot of showers and storms from central portions of north 
Dakota and Atlanta Rain charge the western portions of Ontario and a Spotted Rain charge in the northeastern portions of Washington State, Northern Idaho down for Northwestern Montana and a Spotted Rain charge from North Central and Eastern North Eastern Central portions of British Columbia down for Albert Further down for Western and Southern Western portions of Saskatchewan here. And take a look at Southlight Low Beer and it shows. Atlanta Clouds coming up much of Great Lakes and down through Eastern Iowa and then from Missouri. And Atlanta Clouds coming up much of the Mid South region around the Gulf states. Now Atlanta Clouds coming from Central Mexico and from Western Texas and around the Four Corner region. And Central portion of Nevada, and down for East Central portions of California. And Atlanta Clouds coming from much of British Columbia and from Southern Alberta and down for Norman Saskatchewan and down for Manitoba and the Western portions of Ontario and down for North Western portions of Minnesota. And Spotty Clouds from Cent North Central New Hampshire and down for Southern portions of Maine. Atlanta Clouds from Eastern Quebec and down for Newfoundland there. Okay, latest travel situation here in the Atlantic. This is a 50% chance of a cyclone formation of Puerto Rico, an area of low pressure. Located in the Yucatan Peninsula, is producing larger showers and thunderstorms than winds. It's a near gale force over the portions of the northwestern Caribbean Sea and southeast Gulf of Mexico and Iraq. When an upper level to an conditions should support some development of this system as it moves. Over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, Sunday across the northwestern Gulf of Mexico, about Tuesday. Regardless of development, every rains are possible over the ports of the Yucatan Peninsula, about Sunday, as an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Android aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system Sunday afternoon, next week, and it shall. Formation chance for four hours. Medium 50%, and formation chance for five days. Medium 60%. All right, the latest on Hurricane Cross, similar location, 15.5 north, 100.1 in the west. Max the same with 85 miles per movement, not that much better, 2 miles an hour here. As the government of Mexico has issued a hurricane watch west of Punta Santimo to Mantazil, a uh, hurricane warnings effect from Lazaro Cardenas to Tecpan and to Cardena. Hurricane watch is in effect from west of Lazaro Cardenas to Mantazil, and a tropical warnings in effect from east of Tecpan to Galena to Punta Molano. Hurricane warning means that hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area. A warning is typically issued 36 hours before the anticipated first occurrence of tropical storm force winds. Conditions that make outside preparation difficult or dangerous and preparation to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the watch area within four hours. And tropical warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within 36 hours. Interest. Elsewhere, along the southwest coast of Mexico, should monitor progress of Carlos. Here, at 10 p.m. Central Time, the center of Hurricane Carlos was located in latitude 15.5 to the north, long to 1.1 in the west. Carlos was driven toward the north northwest through two miles an hour. Carlos was regularly turned toward the northwest later in the night, and west northwest to northwest. Most of it is an increase in force speed as respectively said in the body, and the forecast track the center of Carlos is expected to be approached to the coast of southwest Mexico late Monday. Mexico same winds are near 85 miles per hour gust. Some streaming is forecast for the next four hours, and hurricane force winds extend up, up to 30 miles per 45 kilometers from the center, and top storm force winds extend out toward 90 miles per 150 kilometers. The estimated minimum pressure is 970 millibars of trade with 88 inches, and wind. Top storm conditions are expected within the tropical storm water area by early Sunday. Hurricane conditions are expected to begin within the hurricane water area on Monday. Hurricane conditions are possible within the water hurricane water area later on Monday. Rainfall calls are expected to produce 6 to 10 inches of rain across the southwestern coast of Mexico for Tuesday with a maximum. Totals of 50 inches possible. The state of Mexico affected include Azaca, Guerrero, Michoacan, Colima, and Jalisco. The rains can cause life in flush floods and mudslides, especially in higher areas of higher terrain. Surf swells are strange with a close on effect on the coast of southern and southwestern Mexico during the next few days. And these swells could cause life in surfing whip currents. Alright, let's take a look at our forecast discussion in the region here. And it shows. An approaching warm front will likely bring a period of every rain shall sometime late Sunday night and Monday. Mainly dry weather expected to Tuesday, but cannot rule out a risk of a few passive showers of sun with on the time of the cold front. Another chance for showers will be sometime Thursday and a Thursday night. Near term until 6 p.m. Sunday morning, 10 p.m. update. Overall, nice evening across 7 with higher pressure. 
Build an overweight pressure gradient and mainly link clear skies. Now have a lot of temperatures to drop off forever quickly, but with two points in the upper 50s and 60s, we're likely to always see another 10 or so. Degrees of temperature fall for the night. Also, leftover upper level cloud debris to the way may rotate over the region for the overnight hours. I've just as kind of temperatures two points with us thinking of tonight. High pressure builds across the southern New England. Let's expect a lot of variable winds along with mainly clear skies, which will lead you off a good ratio of cooling. I expect temperatures to fall in the mid upper 50s, except the lower mid 60s in the urban centers. Some may see some petrified development in a normally successful valley and inland locations. Here. Alrighty. Take a look at weather notes here. Highs today, we're in the 80s today. Winds are now light at the moment. Water temperature 58 degrees and tomorrow's highs expected 60s and 70s along the coast and 75 80 inland. And the beach forecast, both the sunny will be a range of 69 to 75 degrees. And water temperatures 56 from the north shore to 57 along the eastern Massachusetts the south shore. And Cape Downs to 6 degrees along the Rhode Island coast. UV index ranging from 7 to 9. Surfs 1 to 2 feet. Rip current risk is low. Okay, 7 day forecast. It goes like this here. Overnight, most of the coast got low about 56 degrees. Calm wind. Sunday, most of the sun got about 80 degrees. Calm wind becoming eastbound 6 miles by in the afternoon. Sunday night, chance of showers. Bailing to 3 a.m. Increased cloud lower at 56 degrees. Slight south wind. Chance of precipitation is 30%. New prints of to less than 10 minutes possible. Monday, showers like with thunderstorms also possible at 4 p.m. Summer storms, good as every rainfall. Cloud winds are 68 degrees and southeast wind. 3 to 7 miles by chance of precipitation is 70%. New rainfall months are between 1 and 2 inches possible. Monday night, check the showers and thunderstorms. The clouds got lower at 58 degrees and southeast wind morning. Six o'clock coming, coming after midnight. Chance of precipitation is 40%. Tuesday, check the showers and thunderstorms. Also possible after 8 a.m. Most of the clouds got about 80 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Tuesday, most clouds got about 63 degrees. Wednesday, most of the most of the clouds got about 76 to about 56 degrees. Thursday, check the showers. Most clouds got about 74 to about 30 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 35%. Friday, most of the podcast got about 77 to about 37 degrees. And for Saturday. Most of us can have it 78 degrees. Peter, another phrase on that. A sunny Sunday in store. Peter Channel News Time, 1117 here on this late Saturday night. And it's time now for Saturday night. Sports fan up here. And Red Sox fans are staying positive to their team no matter what happens. But boy, the Red Sox struggling lately here. And that showed the case as the Red Sox fall in extra innings to the Toronto Blue Jays at Fenway Park. 5-4 to four here as now. They are still stuck in the AL East cellar right now here. Top of the second. Blue Jays got on board first on a Kevin Plough single on the line drive. The left fielder Hanley Ramirez and everyone in costume scores. Chris Cabell to third. And it was one nothing Blue Jays and then. Ryan Green singles on a sharp ground ball that lets center fielder Rustin Castillo and Chris Cabell scores and Russell Martin scores and Kevin Plow to third and Ryan Green to the second on the four. And it's 3 0 for Blue Jays through two. And then, top of the fourth, Jose Reyes singles on the line drive. And left fielder Henry Ramirez that scores Kevin Plow and Ryan Green to third. 4 0 for Blue Jays. But then the Red Sox struck back here. Bottom of the fourth, and Xander Bogart singles on the line drive. Right fielder Jose Bautista that scores Henry Ramirez. And Derby Taser third, and it was 4 1 in favor of the Blue Jays. And then Pablo Sandoval singles on a ground ball of center fielder, Kevin Pilar, and David Ortiz scores, and Alexander Bogart scores. 4 3, Blue Jays lead the Red Sox. And then, bottom six, Big Poppy, David Ortiz, home on a five ball to right field, and the game is out of fourth. And Red Sox. And. Golden opportunity here. With bases loaded, one out. And Ortiz and Bogart strike out, stringing in the bottom seven as the Red Sox chances at taking the lead went down. As in the top of the left, Russell Martin homers on a fly ball to center field as the Boston Red Sox drop a tough one. Five four to the Toronto Blue Jays as now the Sox are twenty seven and thirty six on the season as look. Got the win, while Matt Brown's got the loss, and Brett Sissel get his fourth save of the season. Here is the Red Sox. A trap will try to salvage the final game of a three game series at Fenway Park tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon at 1 with 
It's Water Rock Week as a man for the Red Sox ball. Mock is running a man for the Blue Jays here. Alright, let's take a look at the other scores around the majors here on this late Saturday night here. Chicago Cubs leading the Cincinnati Reds 3 to 1 in the top of the sixth. Top of the fifth. Los Angeles Angels leading the Oakland Athletics 1 to 1 in the top of the fifth. And in the fourth, San Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers 1 1 the score. Texas Rangers and Minnesota Twins 11 to 7. Pittsburgh Pirates over the Philadelphia Phillies 4 to 3. Cleveland Indians that dropped the Detroit Tigers 5 to 4. New Atlanta Braves and New York Mets 5 to 3 in the final 11 innings here. Top of Bay Rays defeat the Chicago White Sox 5 to 4. Miami Marlins over the Colorado Rockies 4 to 1. St. Louis Cardinals over the Kansas City Royals and the Battle of Missouri 3 to 2. Seattle Mariners over the Houston Astros 8 to 1. Washington Nationals over the Milwaukee Brewers 7 to 2. Arizona Diamondbacks 4, San Francisco Giants 2, and Baltimore Royals 3 to New York Yankees 9 to 4. The Chicago Blackhawks are one win away from capturing their third Stanley Cup. In six seasons, as they take a 3 to 2 lead, headed back to Chicago with a 2 1 victory over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tonight, down in Tampa, as the Chicago Blackhawks look to win the Stanley Cup on. Chicago City Limits for the first time in 77 years since 1938. And, and take a look at MLS soccer scores. The regular election blanked that Chicago Fire 2 0. New York City Football Club defeated Montreal Impact 3 1. Seattle Sounders in a FC Dallas 0 0 pace in the 51st minute and Columbus Crew and LA Galaxy 1 1 in the 79th minute. Okay, take a look at other sports news here. In Oakland, a uh, two day break between Game 4 and Game 5 in the NBA Finals came at the most opportunity time for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The United States moved to the top of the group T after a 0 0 draw with Sweden at the Women's World Cup on Friday after two rounds of fixtures. The United States lead on four points, one ahead of Australia, while Sweden has two points. Baltimore, Alex. Rodriguez is straight. Hank Aaron and a Toulouse Cup, the only two players in baseball history to have. Officially driven in one in 2000 with a 2 1 homer in the 6th and Saturday's game between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. Pittsburgh Panthers received a tie aboard as being investigated for a suspicion of driving under the influence on a traffic stop early this Friday morning. Kyle Bush wins at Michigan in the first Xfinity race since accident. Harrison, New York. Soft screens. Stars in B Park and C Young Kim at another chapter to the friendly rivalry on Saturday as Park shot at 766 and overtook Kim in the final hole to take a two stroke lead in the final round. Trey Hunter in Minnesota Twins lineup after appealing two game suspension. Jerry Jones over to the Sun. Steven Service. A Chief Offering Officer, Executive Vice President, and Director of Prayer Press of the Dallas Cowboys as Steven Jones on Grown Influence with Drake. As he listens more. Stagger Germany top seeded Rafael Nadal will play Victor Trucky of Serbia in the final of a grass court Mercedes Cup. Nadal defeated Gal Munflis of France 6 3 6 4 Saturday before Trucky overcame the second seeded Marine Click of Croatia 6 3. U.S. soccer defends hope so decisions and letter to Senator. And Bernard Langer gets an 8 stroke lead heading in the final round of the Senior Players Championship. That doesn't have much hope for the golfers chasing him. And that is going to be it for the Pierce Show Level Cult News and Saturday Night Super Bowl. Round up in the Saturday Night, June 13, 2015. I'm Pearson. Have a good night with a good positive. I'll see you tomorrow morning with us. Born in Newport. Good night.